नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स माई सर दीपक कुमार रथा है वेलकम यू टू द डिजिटल मीडिया ऑफ उदय इंडिया एंड टूडे इन इंडिया थिंग्स फ्रेंड्स आई वॉन्ट टू एगेन टेल यू वॉट राहुल गांधी डिड एगेन एंड यू ऑल नो एट ए रैली इन डेली रामला मैदान रिसेंटली राहुल गांधी हज सेट दैट इफ द बीजेपी विन्स द इलेक्शन थ्रू मैच फिक्सिंग एंड चेंजेस इन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन then the country would be set ablaze and would not survive mark my word bhai aur behno main sach bolta hu aur meri baat aap achhi tarah sun lo agar hindustan mein match fixing ka chunav bjp jeete aur uske baad samvidhan ko उन्होंने बदला तो इस पूरे देश में आग लगने जा रही है ये चुनाव ये चुनाव वोट वाला चुनाव नहीं है ये चुनाव हिंदुस्तान को बचाने वाला चुनाव है एंड राइटफुली प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी लॉन्च डे Destroying attack on Rahul Gandhi for his remark, suggesting there would be a conflagration in the country if the BJP secures a third term. I have no qualms in saying that Rahul Gandhi is born to become a laughing political stuff and to amuse people, and it has been repeatedly in last two three years. People says. when rahul opens mouth then people laughs i am not saying this and rahul gandhi always gets humiliated and exposed many times but never stops i don't know why their advisers are silent and not listening there is not a single speech he made in last 20 years of his career in which he didn't became the laughing political stuff and he is less of a politic politician and more of an international stand up comedian rahul gandhi is politically immature he has been nicknamed popu by indian public and he has also proved many times that the public is right in judging him as to call him as popu you have seen social media i don't need to explain why people are telling so and rahul gandhi has a reputation of not correcting behaviors for which he has been humiliated in the past and will continue to repeat those same mistake time and again rahul gandhi basically goes abroad to lower his own image in the eyes of everyone and friends there is hardly a foreign trip where he went to his entire political career in which he came back with his status increased same wherever he was he still there his visit to the us in 2023 was no different rahul went there and adapt the indians demo india's democracy he spoke against the uh, india Indians and against the interest of India, Rahul even went and called the Muslim League a secular party, which, along with British and Congress, had affected partisan of India on the basis of religion. It was a big loss of face for Rahul when the U.S. Congress released a statement praising Indians' democratic values exactly within 48 hours after Rahul has made those vile comments. Let me narrate you one incident that happened to Rahul Gandhi in the Trump presidency in the U.S. and could have led to change in his fortunes. But like PM Modi has critics from the opposition who constantly keep winning that the democracy is dead no more trump had critics from the democrats who would call him an undemocratic autocrat rahul met a top democrat us leader on one of his tours when trump was us president both were chatting and gossiping with each other and criticizing prime minister modi 
and Trump. Suddenly Rahul said in the conversation, Indian democracy is dead, to which the US Democrats leader replied, thankfully the US is amazing democracy. As Rahul looked at him in surprise, the Democrat leader, having read Rahul's expression, replied, I am not a Trump fan and I am in opposition to him, but it doesn't mean that I will lower the prestige of my nation in front of you. Imagine. The US Democrat leader clearly knew where to draw the line and if there would have been anyone else in the place of Rahul, he would have learned to an important lesson on that day. But Rahul Gandhi keep repeating such mistakes time and again and we just know how how come Prime Minister Modi and BJP defeats him and his party so easily? Friends, Rahul and, his, Rahul and the Congress party should learn few things from the BJP at least, especially on nationalism. The Bharatiya Janata Party also did not like Congress having hogged the power for so many decades after independence, even knowing that Congress conduct was dubious in many matters. But the BJP never worst dirty linen on internal matters at an international level. Rahul, even one of his first visit to UK, called India a union of states, clearly ignoring the common way of life, culture, civilization and nationhood of India from last 5,000 years. And he was put in place by, by a <coughs> respondent who clearly told him that India has enjoyed an unwritten constitution since the last five millennium which still binds us together. And despite being publicly shamed in front of the audience, then he went on to UK, stood on the same forum and oops, Rahul did it again. What after all, is Rahul Gandhi hoping to accomplish by travelling overseas? On sponsored trips, is hurling mud at the nation his main responsibility? Nation wants to know this. Rahul Gandhi is casting doubt on India at a time when its reputation is growing manifold and stronger worldwide. The Congress tenure had been bad for the economy. India's economy is currently the fifth largest in the world. Indian customs faced challenges throughout the Congress era. Our traditions and culture have been revitalized in the modern day. We are now proud of our illustrious past and have set our colonial mindset. Rahul Gandhi can never be accepted in India today if he continues to disperse India and Indians. This I am not saying. This is not our opinion, but this is the opinion he himself has made. It is, friends, now high time we should know such negative politics and start chun chun kar safai karna, as our PM said yesterday. Friends, the elections, the general elections is around, going around. And we put certain facts on different political parties and different leaders. It's the duty of media to highlight the policies, the images of all the leaders. That's what exactly we did it today about Rahul Gandhi. Stay tuned with Uday India and subscribe to Uday India, Varat Mata Kijay.